What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Gillianova and today I'm going to be upgrading the graphics card of my PC with NVIDIA's GeForce 2070 Super Mini. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step way on how to install your graphics card on either your new or existing PC. So my current graphics card is the GTX 1060 3GB version, but I'm interested in running on a monitor that's 2K, 144Hz, and 1 millisecond of response time. If you guys are interested in the monitors that I'm going to be running with my new graphics card, then I'll have a link in the description below. So before you pick a graphics card for your computer, make sure your power supply can provide enough power for your whole system. There's a lot of calculators that you can find online, and if you really need it, I'll have a link in the description below. And also make sure your case is big enough because the graphics card can either be really big or really small. In this case, this is a mini super, so it should fit into my case, which is like a mid tower. So before we get started, make sure you have a screwdriver. In my case, I have mine from Ikea, but you can get this from any store like Target, Walmart, Home Depot, or any local store around your area. So if you're like me, I'm interested in seeing unboxings of what I'm about to purchase. So if you guys are, then I will unbox this real quick. Open it up and it says live to game. If I pull this bad boy up, then you will get another box. Open it up one more time. So opening this up, you will get a manual, some plastic covering the graphics card, and there you have it, the 2070 Super Mini. And just to show you guys, and if you're a beginner learning to install a graphics card, make sure you know where the pins are. And then the pins to push down is right here. And on that side, this is gonna be the outside for you guys. This is a display port, HDMI, and then two more display ports. And then there's gonna be more cables inside the box in case you guys are wondering. So for the next steps, you need to unplug everything, make sure the power is off. Pull this bad boy out. So now that my PC is unplugged, I'm going to remove the side cover. I'm sure most towers are gonna to have a side cover like this. In my case, you unscrew it on the side right here and it should slide off. Here's a close-up just in case if you guys are wondering. So then that's one. There's another one down here. Unscrew that. It should look like this. So once you unscrew the sides, you'll be able to pull the side easily like this. So now that my and your PC is opened up, we're going to be installing a graphics card which is right here. So as you can see, it is already connected here which is what I showed you previously that you're gonna connect with your graphics card. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is unscrew this right here. Lefty Lucy is what my dad taught me, as so. Oh, that's something that I forgot to mention. Remove all the dust in your PC if you are replacing the graphics card because I'm pretty sure you guys haven't been cleaning it in a while. Well, for me at least, I haven't. After unscrewing that, remove the pin from the side. Just pull it out like so. Next, there's a latch right in the very top. Hold it, and then you could just pull it out really easily, as so. Now with the new graphics card, place it down on the same pin. In this case, the pin will be right here on the very top. Make sure it's aligned on the outside also, as this is gonna be where you're gonna put your cables, like your display port or your HDMI. Align it, and then you just push down, as so. Make sure that it's firmly connected. And next, you just screw it back in and then connect the cables on top. So putting back the cover. Once you connected everything onto your PC and turned it on, go to NVIDIA GE Force Experience and install the new drivers. Click yes. Sorry for my old monitor, but as you can see here, I have the GE Force RTX 2070 Super installed. All right, and there you have it. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or you could DM me at Gillianova on Instagram. All right, guys, I'll catch you soon.